and we are back. We have been playing with this 4K Apple TV. Um, so far, I have mixed feelings, but I'm we're, we're going to keep giving you guys this information. If you guys missed my last video, I did one on the basics, the specs, what you get, what's in the box, all that stuff. Um, missing developer options. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe. I leave you guys here with all the latest and greatest stuff. Smash that thumbs up, and yeah, let's go ahead and begin. So here's the Apple TV. Um, I got to say, at the top here, you get the, the, the Ted Lasso advertisement, which is great. Apple TV is awesome, by the way. But then it starts a video right away, and some people really don't want that video to play, and especially with some of us doing reviews, you know, we can't have that video. So... Here's some of the stuff. We're going to go through the settings. That way you guys know what's there. Um, and yeah, let's let's check this out. So you got your general. And for here, you have your about. You got your bedroom, your model. Um, you have all that stuff. The only thing I can click on here is is just the, the bedroom name. But after that, I cannot scroll down to click on anything. It just kind of changes that information right there. That's it. Um, screen saver, you could do whatever you want here. You have all your different types of themes. Appearance, we like that dark theme. You could do automatic, so it switches with the light. Turn off, restrictions, privacy, legality, uh, and regulatory. Ooh, I almost stumbled on that one. Siri, you could turn this off or on. Language, your history, all that stuff. Keyboard, dictation, Apple, region, usage, manage storage. This is actually really important here. Um, so right now I don't have any apps. All the apps that are here are just the ones that are included and that's it. Uh, backgrounds app refresh. So apps, anything like that. If you guys watch beyond the streams, make sure you guys do check us out. And for whatever reason is setting me up to compare, com compare to Copertino. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm definitely not in that area. Now, before I do forget, I, let me come up here real quick. I just, I just remember this one coming to privacy. And these are some of the things that are very important to turn off. It says location services, you keep that on. Tracking, allow apps to ask to track. I would turn this off. I, I don't want them to know what I'm doing. Photos, if you have that, you could leave it off or on. Um, Bluetooth, HomeKit, all that stuff here. Media, Apple, TV users. There's several things here to do about app analytics and privacy. Just anything with ads and everything, this is exactly where you're going to want to turn it off. So that's it. Those are some of the settings here for your general. You got your users and accounts, video and audio. So this is pretty nice for your video and audio here. You got all your different formats. I am using uh, uh, just a 1080p uh, card here. So it's going to just read the highest resolution, which is nice. HTML output, match content. You have all these different settings here that you could do, which is nice. Calibrate some of the stuff here notifications we are definitely going to turn this off um so for your search apps can let you know about new notifications by showing an app icon badge you can turn them off or on so again tv i'm just going to turn these notifications off i don't really care for it um airplay and home kit if you have anything with airplay you can turn this off allow access you could leave it off or on however you want to do that remotes and devices i gotta say this remote is nice i love this remote Anything with Bluetooth, this is where to do it. I do like how here I could check my battery status. It says 87% within the battery before I have to recharge it. Pretty nice. And then that's, yeah, that's good right there. So accessibility, voiceover, zoom, display. I have all this off. So, but like, yeah, all this stuff off. I don't really care for any of that stuff for vision, any of that stuff. Anything down here, again, just shut off. As far as your apps goes, automatically update. Keep this on. Um, for app settings, so for your TV, for example, you could do use play history. If you want the history, leave it on. If you don't, turn it off. Um, same thing with your music. Same thing if you have this connected to computers, fitness, anything like that. I normally have all that stuff turned off. Um, now, as far as your system goes, if you go to help, this is where you're going to get a lot of information if you're having any kind of issues with your device. This is where you're going to want to do it. If you back up, you can come here to what's new. It kind of gives you a quick little thing here with your Apple Watches and all that stuff, which is totally fine. Software updates. This is how to keep your stuff updated. Now, with this, automatically update, turn on, leave it on. 
update software it says here that there is an update so you know you can go ahead and do that here or you could do it later however you want to do it and then of course you could reset and restart so it's pretty pretty easy from there sleep now and you should be good to go now when it comes to that that annoying thing here at the top and again you know, I only so much I can do before this thing is just it just plays whatever the hell it wants to play. There's no way that I found that I could turn it off. And I've been I've been searching and searching and searching. Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys know how to turn off that big giant thing here? Um, as far as everything else goes, whatever you need to turn off, like I highly recommend notifications. Just turn that stuff off. You don't want this thing to overwork anyway. This thing is pretty nice, so it's not going to do too much with all the settings it already has. And all the stuff here, it's pretty, pretty basic. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest stuff, all the settings and everything here. This is some of the settings that I will turn off. Um, and yeah, I, I really do wish there was a way to turn that thing off that, that, that top display thing at the top. I, I, I was in, I wasn't able to figure it out. So I'm, if there's a video out there, if there's somebody knows how to do it, let me know. With all that being said, you guys take care take care of each other and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.